Welcome back, you dingoes. For the title, two teams, one trophy, doesn't get much better than this. We're taking on Washington in the national championship. They are the only undefeated team in the country. We barely snuck into this game. Now's a good time for me to let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. But we'll hear more from them at halftime. Last week we were number four, but thankfully we played Notre Dame, who was number one in the country at the time. But really, the only thing we care about is the GoDaddy.com Bowl, Kent State versus Louisiana. Taking a look at the two teams, we all know the Dingoes, Kevin Davidson 99 overall, Brian McBride 98 right behind him. You also got the best strong safety in college football in Rob Lewis and an excellent kicker in Matt Jesse. Funny enough, Washington's best player is Richie Washington. So Washington, Washington, this guy is incredible. 99 acceleration, 98 trucking, 94 break tackle, 99 ball carrier vision, 95 stiff arm. I don't know how the heck we're going to tackle him. They also got Demetrius Bryant. Thankfully, it's not Des Bryant, but he's pretty darn close. 99 route running, 99 catching traffic, 99 spec catch. Their quarterback, he's a scrambler, 82 speed, 88 throw power, 88 throw accuracy. Their second wide receiver, Jermaine Sims, has 97 speed, 99 acceleration. He's going to be tough to catch up to. Their corners are locked down. Jake Gordon has perfect coverage. And their second string, Jonathan Cox, has 94 man and 93 zone. BCS National Championship here in Miami. Pac-12 versus Big Ten, two teams from the West Coast. I know it sounds confusing, but we went through a ton of adversity to get through this game. It's honestly a miracle we're even here. Can we win back to back? National Championships underway. We're getting the ball first under the lights. I like this a lot. And we're gonna get a return and only gonna make it out to the 10 yard line. That is a mistake. Our starting running back, Jonathan Glover got injured and he's out for the rest of the season. So we got Brian Andrews. We finished last game pretty strong actually. So he's gonna lead the way here on the ground for the Dingoes. Oh, Timbo slights with a good block. Head to head collision, Brian Andrews. Don't get a concussion. Oh, they're blitzing us. We got Gino. Try to hit him with that step back. Oh, they're coming at us. I see the tight end. Got a block from Philip Miller. Can he get us another one? Zach Harper's going to go all the way, kicking off this game with a touchdown. 63 yards to the house. Now that is how you set up the play action. He doesn't have anybody. He's a scrambler, though. Threw that guy off. He's going to get the first down. He's keeping the football. Breaks in a ton of tackles. And their blocking is there. Chris Davis shove him out. Got a guy open, Solon Spitzer on him. That's going to be a first and goal for Washington. Across the middle, gave him a hit stick, and he's going to fall down. He's got guys to the outside. No one's even near him. Touchdown, Washington. They strike right back. Oh, they got pressure on me. Gonna have to turn around. Nearly picked off. That guy is not someone we want to test. Oh, oh God. Get rid of that. <laughs> I was staring down the wrong receiver. I think we had a guy open in the middle and I was just blanking. Oh, just before you know it, it's already fourth down. Big rip to me. Oh, he muffed it. But he's still gonna get a return. Right past midfield. Thought they were going to throw it here. Richie Washington has open space. Somehow we tackle him. Get there. Quarterback keeper. Oh, man. How do we miss that tackle? Freebie for Robinson. Good blocks up front. Great cut. Damn. Oh, man. They're already in the backfield. Breaking it. Somebody go. ICB. Philip Miller's got it with the cut. He's still going inside the 15. Oh, I don't know how he escaped it. He gets me this time. I see B. I think he's covered now. Just dropped it out of bounds. Took too long to make a decision. Just going to take the points too far away to risk it. Field goal is good, so we're down by four points now. Oh, man, that guy's running loose. Brandon, like, what a play to recover. I don't think he has anyone. He's going down. Brian McBride busted down the offensive lineman and the quarterback. And that'll give him the most sacks in NCAA history. 56 
on his career. Kevin Davidson with the block. I'm just going to run up front. Good blocking from everybody. That's going to be a first down for us. I see you. Eric Hall, the tight end. Run him over. Dragging him with you, but he's so close, but he's not into the end zone. Should have been a touchdown for him. From the goal line, spinning and flipping around. He's into the end zone. Kevin Davidson gets it done. Taking the lead here before the end of the first quarter. It's been nonstop scoring. Oh, missed again. Chris Davis, please go get him. From behind, we can't tackle him. Solon Spitzer can't get him. Holy crap, this quarterback. We finally tackle him at the one-yard line. One missed tackle for me, and then this guy just flies. He's going to keep it. Oh, he hands it off and ran into a brick wall called Rob Lewis. Again to him, but he's too strong this time. Hands it to Washington, and they get a touchdown, reclaiming their lead. Not much happening here either. Rolling around the pocket, still getting sacked. Couldn't see a soul open. Oh, I thought the quarterback was going to keep that one. Oh, Rob Story, what a play. Got him for the first. I knew they were going to go to the corner routes. He's running. Brian McBride got him again in his final college football game. He's going to keep it. Rob Lewis read it. Excellent. Wide open. How did Cody Spicer get toasted so badly? That's Jermaine Sims, actually. I think that's that guy with 97 speed. And they're taking a multiple score lead here. They get the ball first the next half. This is not looking good for the Dingoes right now. Oh, my Jesus, what a hit. Well, Anthony Juhaz is running him over. No, they're not covering the tight end. He's already had a big catch earlier today. What the heck is going on right there? They refuse to cover this guy. Zach Harper's getting close to 100 receiving yards in the first half. He's open again. Multiple plays in a row. Rolling out. I'm looking, I'm scanning. B is open. Way to get open for me, Philip Miller. Thank you. Was not going to be able to run it in. Actually going to go for two right here to make it a three-point game, just for the memes. Oh, uh, I see him again. And that one's nearly picked. I tried. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought he was going to get it. No. That could have been a pick six. It would have turned the tide of the game immediately. Pitches it. There you go. And they're calling timeouts too, so even if they get points here, we're going to get a chance. He's sending it. Oh, man, what a throw. He just threw a bullet over to his receiver. Now that makes it a 12-point game. Oh, barely got that one off. Good cut. It's going to get us the first and some more. Um... Crap, got him on my butt. Yeah, I'm going to have to call a timeout. Losing a ton of yards. I see it, the tight end again. Zach Harper, all right, we're close to field goal range, but we don't want a field goal. Cross the middle, tight end again. They're just not covering him today. Zach Harper's having a career game in the natty. Everybody's gassed. We don't have time to be gassed. Oh, I'm getting sacked. Again, Zach Harper exposing him all day. Are they just going to leave him open for the entire game? He's not even my first read for most of these things either. He just keeps getting open. Oh, right. I, like, are you kidding me? Immediately. He's just uncovered again. Zach Harper is a one-man machine out here. Seven catches. 180 receiving yards here in the first half. And that's going to take us to halftime. 35-31. to 31. It is a massive scoring game.
But now that it is halftime, let's hear from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace has been supporting my channel for a long time. Can't thank them enough. It's a quality company with a good product. They are fantastic at creating custom websites and domains. Squarespace is integrated into an all-in-one platform that's extremely easy to use. For example, we all know me, I'm not the expert, and I was able to create a dingo website that looked like it was quality in just a few minutes. The templates are sophisticated yet simple to use. Just fill in the blanks and you're good to go. You also have the ability to embed podcasts, integrate video backgrounds, and much more. If you're in the market for a website and you've been putting it off for whatever reason, take this opportunity right now to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by going to my custom link in the description below at squarespace.com slash not the expert. Once again, that's squarespace.com slash not the expert in the link in the description below. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Heck of a game so far, especially from Zach Harper. My guy has almost 200 receiving yards already. Washington refuses to cover this guy. If he's open, we're going to keep on finding him. Oh, somebody break out the blocks. Chris Davis just kicked him in the shin and he went down. Uh, oh, wow, he hurdles. Surprised he didn't fumble that one. Jude Goodman having a great game. Oh, <laughs> ran into the gut of him. Great open field tackling. Wrap him up. Bring him down. That'll be fourth. Field goal is good, so it's a one possession game again. Seven points is all that separates us. Good run. Oh, what a bad throw. He threw it way behind him. Dangerous read with a slant into zone coverage. You've got to have pinpoint accuracy for that one. Gino's thinking it's going to be behind him, in front of him, picked off. Screen pass, getting blocked. Oh, what a hit. He's scrambling, and we get the sack. Good. Guy in the corner, good read. He's going to run it. Quarterback's going to keep it. Pitches it now. Break off the block, Cody Spicer. They're going to bring it into the end zone. They got a two touchdown lead. Not looking good. Just keep running the outside, not fast enough. He's no Jonathan Glover. I'll see you, Shmooby. Keep fighting. Got him. Cameron Beach, good. I see you. Ian Stokes, and what a great throw to avoid the man. Oh, we got B wide open. Turn up field, Schmooby. Throw it across your body. Hitting the ground. You need a big touchdown here, Anthony. You has third string running back. Getting it done. Hell yeah. What a time to come alive for the Dingoes. One quarter left to play. We're down by seven points. We need to make a big play on defense. I believe in the Dingoes. Keep your head up, Davidson. This game's not over yet. Oh, oh, I thought I picked it off for a second. Either way, a four-yard loss is massive. Going to that outside route. Stopping him short. Third and six. We need a huge play. I don't think he has anybody. He's trying to run it. Tyler Sheeran, get there. We stop him short. Hell yeah, defense. Those are the plays we need. I'm guessing run up the middle. I feel like they would fake it in a situation like this. No, he's actually going to punt it. Good, and it's going to go into the end zone. Dingo football, five minutes, 50 seconds left. Trying to scramble out. I'm going down. Come on, hustle to the line. We don't know what could happen. Going underneath, and that's got nothing. Send it. Can he get there, Schmooby? He's got it. Go, go. Inside the 10. 72-yard bomb on third and 10. Gets us a first and goal. Look at that beautiful pass from a future NFL quarterback. Oh, going down again. I had a man in the end zone too. Good blocks. Eric Hall sealed that one up. Touchdown, Dingoes. We're tying this game up. Silencing that crowd. Well, I guess it's a split crowd, so... Part of it's getting silent. The other one is lit. You know what I just realized? Two West Coast teams playing on the East Coast. I'm, I'm surprised this many people traveled out here, but you know, it is a national championship. 
Good wrap up. Tyler Sheeran's having a good game. Oh, he's going down. Sack number three for Brian McBride. They're trying to waste as much time as they can because they don't want us to score. But there's like three full minutes left. Noobs. He's going to boot it out of bounds. We'll take it. Time to be clutch. Two and a half minutes to go. Ooh, that's a good way to start out. Gino, I saw that. This one's for the fullback. Ooh, evading tacklers and busting through them. Whoa, oh, the ballerina hop got me. Oh, good spin. He's still going. Ryan Andrews, what an awesome play. Just go underneath. Not trying to throw it deep, get it picked off. Good catch, first down. All right, clock's ticking away. We might have a chance to just get this game-winning field goal right here. Oh, made a miss. First down, one minute to go. Rush for 2,000 yards on the season. Oh, good blocks. Timbo slice inside the five. 36 seconds to go. This one looks like it's in the bag. Oh, quickly call that timeout. 10 seconds left. Yeah, I'm going for this field goal. Call timeout. Call timeout. For a second, my game was glitching up. It wouldn't let me call a timeout, but we got one second left. That one was close. Here we go. Field goal to win it. Of course, they're going to ice us. And you're talking about Matt Jesse and his final kick of his college career to win the national championship on a walk-off. And it's just a chip shot from five yards away. Don't even have to look at it, man. This is a freebie for the back-to-back -back national championship title. Send it home, baby! 48 to 45, and that is ball game. Walk off for Matt Jesse. Historic 100% field goal percentage throughout his career. ESPN Classic came back from a huge deficit to come out on top. Comeback champ does it again. Gotta celebrate with all the confetti out here. I know it's a hot one here in Miami, but nothing's hotter than winning back-to-back -back national championships. Kevin Davis, what a performance. Let me get that crystal ball, sir. And we are champs once again. Stats on the game. Kevin Davidson, 26 of 34, 470 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Brian Andrews, 15 attempts, 80 yards and a touchdown. Kevin Davidson got one on the ground, and so did Anthony Uhas. We really appreciated it. Receiving today, Zach Harper, all in the first half, had seven catches, 180 yards and two touchdowns. Shmooby Jones had six catches, 118 yards. Phillip Miller had five catches, 77 yards and a touchdown. Tyler Sheeran had seven tackles in this game to lead the team. He was doing very well. But how about Brian McBride in his final college game as well? Had three sacks in this game, setting an NCAA record for most sacks in a career, which I think he ended up with like 58. Nicholas McGovern had one, and so did Jude Goodman. And Matt Jesse, can't forget about him. 100% field goal percentage throughout his entire career. That's ridiculous. The best kicker on my channel's history, the best kicker of all time. And he's ending it all with a walk-off here in the national championship. What a storybook ending for his career. Moved up Kevin Davidson's weight past 200 pounds so he would get drafted. I saw it on Operation Sports one time, and a bunch of people in the comments were saying it. So that's what we did. It also changes his physical appearance for whatever reason but uh yeah i guess it, it's probably good for him because he shaved the chin strap off so a little easier on the eyes new record set by brian mcbride 58 sacks in his career breaking the previous record which was 52 by a linebacker from alabama and kevin davidson breaks the career passing touchdown record at death valley state with 113 he also has almost 15,000 passing yards breaking his own record that he set last season kevin davidson finishes with the most passing yards in the entire country with 4,074. He was up there in passing touchdowns, nowhere close in interceptions because he had 11 of them. Jonathan Glover finished with just over 1,000 rushing yards on the season. 
He missed a couple of games due to injury, so it probably would have been way higher if he stayed healthy. Philip Miller finished sixth in receiving yards with 1,200 receiving yards and eight touchdowns. Rob Lewis had the most solo tackles in the country with 76. Tyler Sheeran was behind it with 70. And Chris Davis is also down there with 49. Ryan McBride had a monstrous 18 sack season. Definitely the best in the country. Rob Story finished third with 11 sacks. And of course, Matt Jesse, 100% field goal percentage and a long of 63, which is easily the longest this season. Vinny Mixon, most kick return yards this season with 1,400 and he also had two of them return for a touchdown. There it is, 70 field goal attempts, 70 made field goals, 100%, long of 63, perfect from extra points. There's never gonna be a better kicker than Matt Jesse ever. It's literally impossible. Oh, look at that Rose Bowl game, Georgia versus Notre Dame. Georgia beat them by one point. The development throughout the years, we only had one scare this past season against Notre Dame losing, but hey, we are on a very good run here. Only lost two games in the past three seasons, and 2025, I'm feeling good about it. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Next episode, we're gonna do the off season. That's one of my favorite episodes to do, and then we'll jump in to season seven. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.